This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, welcome back. So now here in a set accounting, uh, still uh, there are certain configuration steps which is not completed yet. So we'll have a look on those configuration steps, guys. We'll check one by one. So now let me start. So initially what we have done, guys, these all configurations like copy reference startup depreciations and whatever this is screen layout rule or is like asset class, these all things we have already set up. Now determinations of GL account creation and determination of GL account. So GL accounts also we have already set up. This is created. GL accounts are already assigned. Now there are a few more steps which we have to uh, do here. Like there are certs, some more configuration steps, guys. So now here in this segment in this uh, uh, what to say video what we are i'm going to explain here these are the steps so if you have a look look at here now here specify posting key for asset posting so here in this step what is happening guys generally while posting the transactions while posting of transactions right uh, we know that posting key is going to be triggered like if you talk about the posting key for GL, uh, like whenever you are going to post a JV, so in that like automatically system is going to determine like posting key 40 if GL is going to be debited and 50 if GL is going to be credited. So how system is going to determine, right? Of course, in background somewhere this setting is available. So likewise in asset also, whenever asset related transactions are going to be posted, so asset debit posting key 70 has been given by SAP and asset credit. Uh, 75 posting key has been given by 75 in the sense I'm talking about number 75 right in the sense 75 so debit means 70 and credit means 75 this is the posting key which is going to be triggered if you want to change it to a different posting key that also is possible generally I'll just show you and I'll recommend you whatever the standard setting is there even in real time also in it we are also in real time not going to change and it is advisable not to change, but still you should know how system is going to trigger this posting key and all, where it is coming from. As I told you in most of the cases, while posting the transaction, what is happening, guys? The asset account is going to be either debited or credited automatically. Okay, automatically. In that case, system should determine the posting key also audit automatically. Now here use the transaction uh, even we can go through path also you can use transaction code also i'll just use transaction code okay now here so asset posting here it is second double click on this one look at your debit 70 and credit 75 these are the two posting key which is already this is the standard posting key delivered by asset if you want to change you can change it but it as i told you like better not to change Better not to change. Uh, 70 keep the 70 and 75 itself. Now the next setting is document type for depreciation posting. Now I'll tell you here. See while posting the depreciation. Okay, when we are going to post the depreciation. Now what is happening, guys? In that case, depreciation is not going to be posted manually. We have to run a depreciation program. And the calculation based on our calculation, uh, you know, depreciation methods and all the depreciation uh, calculation method is there like multiple formulas are there guys that is going to be discussed one by one uh, of course separately. So now if you talk about depreciation calculation, so system is going to calculate this depreciation automatically. Okay, based on the depreciation calculation procedure the way we are going to define these all things based on that automatically system is going to calculate so now here after like let's suppose if you run this depreciation uh, what is a program system is going to calculate this depreciation automatically and if automatic calculation is happening then of course this transaction is supposed to be posted and where it is going to be posted guys so as i told you multiple gl account we have already created out of which we are having depreciation related gl account also which we have created look at your depreciation and accumulated depreciation here second and third so this is already created and this gl account also we have assigned somewhere okay so system is going to determine this gl account system will determine this gl account the transaction is going to be posted against this gl account 
but the question is again when the transactions are getting posted whether it is like uh, manually or like uh, in background background in the sense like once you run the depreciation program automatically the system is going to trigger the gl account and tra transaction is going to be posted so that is called like posting is happening in background right in back this is called background posting and manually like manual posting means whatever the posting we are uh, it is like you can you guys can see here on the front screen right so this is the difference so now here in background like posting has happened so as i told you whatever the posting is happening for that system is going to generate a document number and where this document number is getting figured guys this is getting figured from your document type so document type is also going to be figured by system so which document type which document type is going to be uh, you know considered by system right so i'll tell you here go to transaction code ob a7 okay first of all so i'll tell you generally what is happening here is this af document type is going to be triggered okay so you have to check against af document type what number range is assigned look at here 0 04 is assigned and here system is going to check for your company code for your company code whether we have created any number range against 04 or not so look at here guys i have created 01 17 18 19 i have not created any number range Uh, against zero four. In that case, what is happening? If you run the depreciation, if you run the depreciation, system will throw error. That number in zero four is not created. Why? Because depreciation is also a transaction. It is expense, right? So depreciation is also a transaction. And while posting the depreciation, system is going to generate a document number. And document number means that is going to be triggered by system from a particular document type. And which document type is going to be triggered, guys? again the question is i i said like af document type is going to be triggered again there will be a question in your mind like how system is going to how and why system trigger af document type itself that is going to be explained don't worry so now here so if system trigger af document type then against af doc, document type number in 04 is assigned and against number in 04 4 we have not given any number range we have not created any range here right so either the existing number range you have to assign or is you have to create a new number range by which code by zero code 004 code right here we are going to give number range code and here we are going to give a range right so i'll just do one thing uh, you can if you want to create a new code with 04 you can give a different range it's okay or is click on back button and assign 01 save it so whatever existing number range is there i have assigned if you want to create a new number range you can create and you can assign here now the next question is how and why system going to trigger this af don't wait guys which see i'll tell you of course the assignment or configurations will be there in sap then only system is going to trigger this system doesn't have any kind of like mind and also that automatically system is going to trigger that particular document type at all somewhere the configuration is there so look at here guys standard this is the standard configuration specify document type for depreciation posting right so now here if you use this transaction code okay so in this step what happens in this step look at here document type is assigned okay document type for posting depreciation why posting of depreciation as i told you automatically system going to determine the af document type the question is now the question is why af itself why not get f document type right why why not uh, you know xf document type why not yf document type if somebody says that i want to for my company code uh that whatever the depreciation is going to be posted it should post it's supposed to be posted against a different document type and that document type is z z document type so what will happen guys in that case you have to create in that case what you have to do you have to create a different document type and that is supposed to be assigned here against your company code right now this is a default setting guys right the moment we are going to set up our company code and all this document type is going to be 
so this is a default setup setting tm00 okay now by default we have not done anything guys right the moment you are going to do your uh, the moment we are going to assign our chart of depreciation with the company code then there are certain settings which is going to be done automatically here in system so look at here by default af document type is assigned here right by default af document type is assigned if you want to change it from af to zf then here itself you can change it provided the zf document type must be created first you must have to create the zf document type so from here system is going to trigger this document type right if you want to change you can change it or else if you want to keep the same you can keep the same document type i'm going to keep the same document type here just i have explained the logic how system is going to trigger the document type during uh, what do you say uh, depreciation costing right now then we are having so here also i have not made any changes guys just to make you people understand because uh, there might be a question in your mind like uh, once i proceed further and once i post the depreciation in that case there might be a question in your mind like how system is going to determine this why system is going to why depreciation is posted against af document type itself are we having any control to change this document type yes we have and where to change and how to change that i have shown you just now now setting is determination of depreciation area in asset class so what happened in this setting guys now determination of depreciation area in asset class so here what happens i'll tell you first of all use this projection code and go to sap so now generally slash Give your chart of depreciation team double zero is my chart of depreciation, right? I've given now here asset class. You have to select the asset class. I'm having three different asset class, guys, which I have created. If you're having multiple, like four or five, then one by one you have to do the setting against every asset class. But again, we need to understand the logic why this setting, like what kind of control is there in this setting. If you do a particular setting, because uh, we need to understand those things, right? So now what kind of control is there that I will let you know. So here, look at here guys. Now, whatever the settings I have done that I have already noted down here so that it will be easy for me to remember even for you guys also. If you're going to do the configurations, better to maintain such kind of Excel sheet and all so that it will be easy to remember like how many, uh, you know, like uh, how many screen layout rule you have created, how many uh, this, uh, what do you say, asset class you have created, right? account determination key how many we have created so look at your asset class plant and machinery then vehicle and computer these are the three so let me take on position and plant and machinery i've given this is my asset class right select it and double click on depreciation area so look at here guys now what is happening so against asset class we are going to specify first of all so with this with this setting what kind of control is there what is the control so in the easiest way i'll tell you guys first of all look at here screen layout screen layout so here what is happening here here if if you assign uh, here i'm going to assign a screen layout rule let's suppose screen layout 2000 this is the standard given by hcp likewise we are having multiple other standard screen layout guys what is the use of what is the use of this screen layout what is the impact if i'm going to assign this screen layout code 2000 here so guys generally uh, this is going to control what this is going to control the fields in your asset mastery okay uh, but again there might be some confusion guys right i'll tell you i'll explain now here so here okay so if you assign here like this 2000 here as a screen layout rule then in asset master we are having multiple tabs okay in asset master we are having multiple tabs so in that we are having a tab called depreciation tab once i create the asset master guys right like 
let's suppose let me open one more string then you guys will be having because the configurations you are going to do right but what kind of control is there that very less people are able to understand so use transaction code as01 by which by this transaction code we can create as a, as a master right but our configuration is not completed with yet so that is why i don't think that we are able to create the asset master but still give as double zero and here asset class i'm going to give this asset class and company code tm double zero and if i press enter okay asset class cannot be used in company code t p and m so why guys why why we can't use this because as i told you the configuration part is still it is not completed yet right so you just do one thing give your screen layout rule here and remove this area deactivation and save it okay press enter once you save it that's it now now what happens you just do one thing here if i press enter this time then what is happening now it is appearing it is appearing okay so look at here guys here we are having multiple multiple tabs are appearing right general data time dependent allocations origin network and then we are having depreciation tab right depreciation area tab so i'll tell you guys now so as i told you here whatever whatever this screen layout uh, you know code i'm going to assign so this screen layout with the help of this screen layout code what is happening guys the fields are going to be controlled in asset master but again the question is earlier also we have created one screen layout rule right earlier we have also created one screen layout rule here where is this this one right screen layout rule okay l o r means a screen layout rule okay now so we have created three different screen layout rules and if you guys are able to remember then i told that whatever this screen layout rule is there right with the help of this screen layout rule what is the control of this screen layout rule guys so the generally it is going to control the fields of asset master and here also i am saying that i have assigned a screen layout rule 2000 right and this is also going to control the fields of asset master so i'll tell you guys in asset master multiple tabs are there right so in that we are having a particular tab a particular tab called depreciation area or depreciation tab so in this depreciation tab, whatever the fields are appearing, guys, those fields are going to be controlled with this screen layout. Okay, with this screen layout rule, which fields are going to be controlled? So in asset master, in asset master under depreciation area, whatever the fields are getting appear, whatever fields right now, I'll just do one thing, guys. Here these things are mandatory. So I'll just I'll not save this because the configuration is not completed yet. Still i will just give here a date and then click on depreciation area so look at here guys depreciation key useful life period ordinary ordinary depreciation start date so likewise these fields are appearing, right so whatever these fields are appearing uh, these fields whatever these fields are appearing so where is the control of these fields guys the control is there in this screen layout rule screen layout rule okay now now generally there is one more thing here what is the use of look at here determination of depreciation area i have specified right determination of depreciation area means what guys if you want to like let's suppose if you want to like here depreciation key depreciation key field is it is non-editable it is not editable right but here we can make it editable also then nothing to be worry about here now your useful life so whatever these details are going to be specified if you are going to specify a particular detail right here this asset class for plant and machine So what happened guys at the time of creation these field depreciation keys of the system is going to be determined from this setting even useful life is also going to be determined by system from here if you're going to give and even 
it is also going to be determined by system from that setting determination of depreciation area the setting name itself is determination of depreciation area right and apart from this if certain fields are going to be required suppressed optional right so where is the control even this control is also this screen layout will be have created and oh, i'm going to use standard but still if you want to set up you can set up how to set up the And where to set up that I will show you guys. And use the transaction code AO21. AO21. Look at here, these are the screen layout rules given by SAP. Standard screen layout rule. Out of it, I'm going to I have used 2000. So you select this 2000 and double click on field group rule. So look at here, guys, multiple. Like if you talk about depreciation key, so depreciation key is a required entry or optional entry or display or what, right? So guys, look at here. We are having radio buttons. Okay, you are required optional. This is the display and this no means hide. It means this field will not appear. So in terms of depreciation key, we don't have any other options here, right? It cannot be optional. It cannot be suppressed. It cannot be display mode. It is required. It means you must have to at the time of creation of asset master. What we have to do, guys, at the time of creation of asset master, you must have to assign a depreciation key, right? If you talk about useful life of a particular asset, so useful life also, what is happening? We are having two options. Either you can make it required entry or you make it optional entry. I'll just in 2000, I'm going to make a change. I'll make it required and I'll save it. Now, what happens? So, and this. This is screen layout rule where I have assigned guys. So this is screen layout rule I have assigned where this is screen layout rule I have assigned against our asset class. Where is the asset class? Here, right? Determination of WSSN area against asset class, right? So now here, generally the name is a bit confusing, guys. Uh, we can say determination of depreciation screen layout rule. This is the perfect name, right? But even depreciation area, why system has given this name? Because even you can give a default depreciation, you can give a default depreciation key here, and that is going to be determined by system at the time of creation of asset master. I'll tell you the creation is not, I have not created any asset master, so that uh, bit confusion might be there. But still, once I create the asset master, you guys will come to know. Don't worry. So here, screen layout rule, I have made the changes. What change? I have made it like whatever the uh, you know useful life is there that is required and under which is screen layout rule under 2000 and this 2000 I have assigned against this asset class so whenever whenever we are going to create any asset class any any asset against this particular asset class then this useful life will be always treated as a required entry okay how you will come to know whether it is required or optional so right now it is optional right now it is optional okay Click on here general that general tab. This is a required entry. This is a required entry. Why? Because here also, if you guys can see, here it is a required entry. So system is saying that we must have to enter something. I'll not enter anything. Why? Because I'm not going to save this. Once again, use AS double AS01 slash in AS01. So here, once again, I'm going to set up. Press enter. Now this is a required entry. So here I have given test. Here I have given a date. And directly jump to asset uh, depreciation area. So now in this, what is happening, guys? Your depreciation key, if you're going to assign, and useful life. If you don't enter as useful life, then system will not allow you to proceed further. But here, if I'm going to select any depreciation key, let's suppose, then let me give. And if I press enter, then system is saying that make a required entry, right? Your, your useful life become a required entry. You have to give like 10 years and press enter. In that case, if you press enter now, nothing, there is no problem, right? But if you don't give, if you don't give your any useful life here, then the system is going to throw error. Why? Because this is also, I have made it as a, sorry, useful life, I made it, useful life, I made it as a required entry. Earlier it was optional, right? So 
in the sense in asset master in asset master whatever the screens are appearing for this general time dependent these these all screens are these all controls are where guys these all controls are there at a screen layout rule level here and this is going to be assigned to against your asset class so right so that is why i said like asset class is going to control the field status of asset master look at here guys one more thing okay uh, because if if somebody says like okay asset class is going to control the field status of asset master like whole field or like a particular field only so i'll tell you whole fields whatever the fields are appearing why because if somebody asks like but that depreciation related depreciation area whatever the depreciation area tab is there that field is going to be controlled separately i'll tell you guys of course we are having a screen layout rule right this one for all fields it means general data time dependent allocations origin and network okay these are the fields i'll tell you here what are the tabs like general data tab then we are having time dependent time dependent then we are having uh, origin allocations then we are having which tab is there allocations origin and network network right let's suppose these are the tab where is the control so these controls are there in this is screen layout let's suppose i'm going to create screen layout rule we have created this is the screen layout rule. okay so if we are going to create any 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 asset master okay any asset master under plant machinery this is class against this asset class what we have done guys this is screen layout rule we have assigned right and against this screen layout rule if i'm going to make any changes then the impact will be there in all this tab right now again another then we are having depreciation area also depreciation area there is also another tab but in this tab whatever the fields are appearing this is having this this fields are having a control this fields are also having control but this control is there somewhere okay for depreciation area we are going to define a screen layout rule separately so i have used standard if you want to use if you want to create your own then better to copy the standard one itself this is what is going to be done by people but generally in real time also we do not create why because already it is uh, delivered by sap and that is more than enough guys okay so here now the question is as i told you like asset class is going to control the fields so this is screen layout rule whether this is screen layout rule or this is screen layout rule both are going to be assigned against asset class itself okay this is also we have assigned against asset class earlier in the very first configurations i think or second configurations in the second what is say season the configuration number one okay we do let into configurations video number one of the configurations right and this one this depreciation area related screen layout rule is also going to be assigned against asset class so of course we can say that asset class is going to control the whole fields right because depreciation layout rule also we have assigned against asset class itself and even normal in the sense asset screen layout rule this one we have assigned against asset class itself right so the screen layout rule look at here so these are the tab which is getting controlled by this one and this depreciation area is going to be controlled by a different screen layout rule this is what the difference but what is common guys both the screen layout rule is going to be assigned against your asset class itself and whenever we are going to set up a particular asset that is always going to be set up against a particular asset class so from asset class system is going to determine system is going to trigger both this one also and this one also and whatever setting we have given against this one that is going to be applicable on the asset master and whatever settings we have applied against this screen layout rule that is going to be 
applicable against your depreciation tab. Okay, this is what the logic is. And apart from, apart from this, even we can give our default depreciation key also, our default useful life also. But generally, uh, instead of giving there, I'm going to give, we are going to give at the time of creation of asset master. Why? Because we have not created any depreciation key as of now. Now in next session, we are going to create this depreciation key. I'll show you guys and multiple calculation methods are also there that I have to explain. Okay, I'll explain what is the logic behind this. So that is going to be so here what is happening with the help of this setting system is going to control what system is going to control the fields which is appearing under depreciation area tab okay so what i have done guys i have already done the settings you save it okay it is saved also right okay it is saved also just save it okay so now in next session what i'm going to explain guys in next session multiple like calculation methods are there depreciation calculation method that is going to be explained so that in that session and uh, then uh, whatever the configurations are there is going to be finished and then we'll perform the testing part and user testing